This is Rex. surface is covered in lava crust. Every year, pondering the enigma of his existence, he travels the hills of Edirina on his way to the three sacred mechanisms. and brings forth the gathering 
Days he tends the blossoms. Oh, they're really cute. And watches as they feed on supernova neutrinos filtered through flowered lattices. Oh, they're like crazy hungry. So these are flower lattices. Far away, the gathering shapes. 
butt for the end. He looks so pretty. He sees these weird electricity beams coming down from the sky. He tries to run away, but then he gets swooped up and levitated. He's in like a little Glinda style bubble as he gets abducted into the flying saucer. Blossoms echo the shape of their unknowing partners. So this little blossom flies over and he turns into the same little creature that was abducted. It's like a little intergalactic dating service. They're all sparkly. This one's smiling. shores of Eternia. Here he's looking at Avon and she's got a really pretty face and a cute hair too. It's all sparkling. And she watches him float by. stations drift and dissolve. The dream globe illusion begins. Oh, so it like makes this little simulated planet for him. And that's the original guy. Looks like he has some more little blossoms. Receiving a final blessing from the guardian shepherd, the blossoms flow to their vessels with eagerness. Soon they will join their chosen consorts within the dream globes. His work done, the guardian shepherd retreats. He passes before the Colosseum where the couplings will eventually be 
be judged. Only one duo will be allowed inside its walls. The remaining specimens will be returned to their home worlds, while the ineffectual blossoms will recoil in slumber until called upon for the next harvest. So the guardian shepherd is walking along this big bridge. Well, he's weird. Dr. Seuss plant. Maybe that's his home. female fox from where he's from has wings. So she flies over to him. Oh, she does a little flip to impress him. He makes him smile. And he starts to chase her. Then he starts to slide a little bit down the hill. And then he starts to slide a lot and he starts to get worried. Someone flies away to safety. Up through the clouds. Oh, it looks like all the, the spikes he was gonna fall on. Looks like they're alive. Tentacles that are coming after them. And yeah, I'm pretty sure it's even. She turns her fins, her wings. 
green and friendly than the one that they were on before. Maybe this is all a big ploy for Rex to fall in love with Avon. Simulated dream globe. reborn and he has a little unicorn or a unicorn horn at the end of it and now for the new story yeah I love this inky sky it's kind of like a nice little globs of dark matter mixed in with the ether so this planet looks really crazy I don't know if that's the land mass or So far. is just taking him on a cruise ship voyage of his two moons on this planet after the sun goes down. Nice silhouette in a tree. Creatures that also 
simulations of his native creatures from his planet or they're also abductees like him with this experiment that they're doing in this simulated world I don't know they look at that across the ocean trying to figure out where to go he's looking around he's trying to figure out what direction they're going in any land, probably. But uh, oh no, it looks like the tree starts to move and he bounces and he grabs back to hold on and he wiggles off and falls into the water. And then there's some sea creatures in there and also a big anus sea monster. monster. He's nice. He's helping him back up on the tree. Looks can be deceiving sometimes. Oh, he's cute. He's smiling at him. He jumps in and splashes him. <laughs> he's got like a big leafy tail. He kind of looks like that goldfish. That was his friend. And he goes to bite the bottom root of the tree. And he starts to pull it, I think, with his mouth to take it somewhere. Yeah, and it starts to take off. You can kind of see very faint underwater the root that he's pulling. <laughs> and Rex is like, yeah. He's pulling the tree along, bringing him back to land. All the creatures are looking around. And a sea creature flies up to go on to land. And the tree starts to climb back on to land, too. Maybe the tree was lost also. in the tree. It looks like they want to stay in there, but they just they don't want to be in the middle of the ocean. Or maybe they're afraid of this guy and they don't want to come down. But this guy looks like he moves really fast. He's, his image is blurry here. Just, choo, he lands super fast. Right in his face, smiling. Thanks. All of his buddies coming over to meet Rex. <laughs> they all look very friendly. So he's looking at Rex and he's like, What do you think? He's my pals. And then he lays down. I don't know what he's doing. And everybody else seems to lay down. Maybe they're bowing down to him.
his type of fox is royalty or if it's because he has the new magic horn or maybe it's part of the alien simulation to make him feel like powerful maybe it's part of the experiment oh it's because one of their old gods or kings shooting away from it. galaxy while he was on it. But everybody's waiting for him to do something. And he's just very confused because he's just a humble little fox. And so his body goes down. It looks like he's about to jump on him. Yeah, he goes to jump on him. Bruno. over everybody's head. Where are they gonna go? Oh, everybody's gonna follow them. They're all going to this big dome. And then the dome starts to open up. And wow. That one is a lot bigger than the other ones. And it has a really big brain. He jumps off his friend. Green fish <laughs> and all these little wiggly little glowy things around him from the big guy's third eye or big brain. And he starts to levitate or fly. What are they gonna do to Rex? Worshipping him. They kind of look like they've changed shape though. They used to have a lot more eyes. There's, there's little forest creatures. I guess, oh, maybe they're traveling. Traveling over different groups of people. I mean, different groups of animals. Or those fish are also metamorphosing. They're traveling. They find another big brain. This one looks more like an octopus. So he's trying to do some kind of telepathy on his vine. And suddenly he has this like Rob Zombie cartoon character face appear out of nowhere after his really intense red concentration piece. And he's like, no way. Thank 
favorite little fox with a unicorn horn. And they cruise past them. And they head to the big squirrel with his mom. been happening to him in his voyage. Looks like little amoeba and little bugs and stuff. And then all the flying sea creatures. And that little sprocket arch that they went under. He's just learning about his journey. Circle to see how, how things are gonna evolve. Oh wow. And then that big guy starts to just dissolve into sparkles. And Fox runs away. Oh my goodness, what is happening? He's turning into this big. Purpose, I don't know. But the fox is really scared of the Rex. He's just screaming. Um, everybody's flying away. I think he's flying now. He's, he can fly with his new powers. And that's a good because he crash lands pretty rough. He's just, he's trying to go with it, but his horn has taken on a life of its own. And he's right where he's supposed to be. With the horn engraved. Picture of him. Just 
or something. And he, he looks sad. Maybe they were more interested in the horn and the shards. Maybe he's, he's not a royalty anymore now that his, his job is done. So he's like, oh, okay then, I guess I'll see you around. But the one guy comes to follow him. Maybe they think he was an imposter or something, I don't know. He's just sitting on the top of the hill, reflecting on everything. And he's like, oh, you again. And she's like, hey, I saw what you did, and that was really cool. And he's like, well, thanks. <laughs> the other guys didn't appreciate me afterwards, but thanks for saying thank you. And then they snuggle, and she loves him. And he, his little symbols look like surprised. Oh, this chapter is called Soulmates. So they sleep together at the top of the hill. I guess he's tired from saving the planet. She wakes up, she's a little sleepy, and she yawns. Taps upon his fuzzy head. And he's, he's bed. And then, I don't know where these wings come from. I don't know where she hides them regularly. And he's like, wow, I wish I had wings. And she's like, yeah, it's pretty cool, I know. Oh, and then she turns back to the little blossom. And swirls away. Oh, she's kind of toying with them. So blossom swirls away. And then starts to emerge on a little platform and she like connects to it with electricity all these crazy squirrels and smoke come out of it that's what's happening and Rex is like what's happening <laughs> just like me and then he's floating flies over to him after changing back into a little fox. And they're back inside the big dream globe. Right outside a big electrical sphere. I guess they're the only ones inside the dream globe. and she turns into this little like scoop for him to sit on. She's gonna give him a door, I guess, of dream globe. They find nowhere to think of a 
they went into this flying saucer. And she's like, hey, let me show you around the flying saucer. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. They keep putting their little nose together. And so when she pushes on this ball, some weird little slimy tentacles come out. Some little ghost. Loves her too now. Yes, and Kara, she's a little shapeshifter. I guess they're gonna play a little game of tag, maybe. Yeah, he runs after her. There's all the different shaped flying saucers, all different. And their shape shifting companions all paired up. I guess everything's going well for everybody else too. Oh, that's her first kiss. And she's all coy and she runs away. <laughs> what is this about right here? Some kind of weird tree or something. star beams come out and do something. This is the shape-shifting one, I believe. And then something rains over the real one. Yeah. He turns back into a blossom. What's happening? Oh, it gets put back inside a Glinda ball. Oh, I hope they get this. are getting put back into the flying saucer. It's very suspenseful what's going to happen to Rex and his girlfriend. So there's the star hovering over them. They have a little kiss and it swirls up. It makes an orb. Rex is looking up confused. She seems to know what's going on. And it's like shooting energy into the orb. And shooting energy into a lot of orbs. And it's like rising up. Showing that has one big bubble underneath the orb is gaining more power. And then
must be what happened. were actually real living creatures and not just little robots like I thought. I thought they were computerized little shapeshifters. So they come up through this weird little water bubble or jello or whatever it is. Burst through. to Rex's little planet where he was first abducted from. Yeah, it looks like it with all the little hills and the foggy trees in the background. And this kind of looks like a little heart there too. A little movement where it sparks. So, it looks like throughout the seasons, fall, winter, spring, summer. He's coming over the hill. It looks like he has a new hairdo, too. He's taking on, <laughs> like, fashion and stuff, puffy hair. wings and her fur and um, this is like a boy that got Rex's colors but he got his mom's funky hair 